Okay, right, today I'm going to sh show you how to um, attach a dot bat to a .exe and make a sort of setup thing, if you know what I mean. Right, so firstly, I want you to open up Newpad. Right, um, so firstly, I want you to type, say, start. Phillips camera dot bar and underneath put Phillips camera dot bar and uh right this this bit what this basically does is make a loop that keeps opening command prompt and it will just freeze out your com the computer and you won't be able to do very much and you can't get rid of it. So now I'm gonna show you how to I'm going to create a, a directory and start menu pro, um, all programs in here, loads of them so it takes some ages to delete. So, firstly, type cd c Sorry. Who you can see that? Right. Um. So you basically, do MKD DIR space like noob, and then basically just copy this just get I'll just do a few of them so you understand what I mean mkdir noob to um lol whatever so just do whatever you want but you can't name it the same like like noob to noob so you've got to name it different otherwise it'll just mess up so then, but this bit's important. If you want to do a loop thing, you got you got to have these, these, the same, and space. That's what it. So you, what you got to do is save it, and you have to name, you have to name the dot bat file exactly as the same as it is there. So Phillips camera dot bat. So exactly the same as it is there. So desktop, save. So right now I'm going to put this into a shortcut. So right click on that. Um, oops, no. Right click on desktop. Click new. And get a shortcut. And then go to browse. Find the dot bat you just created. Next. Oops. Find the things created next. 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 Okay, it's just right there. So right click on that. Properties. Uh, click change icon. Just click OK. F I just I'm just pick what. Everyone that looks realistic is a, a dot exe. So okay, apply. Okay, so it's there. It looks exactly like a dot exe. So what we need to do now is just open up something your text editor. Like say you can't open up Notepad, WordPad, whatever. But I'm just gonna open up Notepad. I mean WordPad. So just put in here 
terms and conditions to whatever you want whatever you want really just make it look convincing but whatever just now just save it save it to desktop save this desktop yeah so it's there now these are the main files we need really right so now all you need to do go to start run and type in start run and type in iexpress iexpress.exe yeah okay and it will open up this so basically now what we're going to do is put these two um attach these two files to .exe and, and it's basically extract us so it looks genuine so now, if um, just click next, just keep it as that next. Um, it, extract files only. Next, package titles. So basically, package titles. So this here. So we'll just name it as Philips Camera Setup Crack Point Zero. Um, Next prompt user, so ask the user whether you want they want to install it. So install next display a license. That's basically what this this we just made here the WordPad file. Browse desktop all files, um, uh, terms next. Right now, find find the dot bat that you, well dot bat you just made with changed icon add desktop um, open click next to keep it as default net actually yeah keep it as default next display message um, complete this is the miss this is the message that they should get at the end. Complete next. End of the path. The package downloaded. Explore user. Just desktop. Um, Philips camera. Save. Uh, untick that. We don't want to save that. Next. Don't save. Oops. I mean. Yeah. Don't save. Next, and then it will just make it. There you go. So now this is what we just made. These two files are attached to this setup. So you basically, let install Philips camera. Yes, that's my um thing. Yes, agrees to the terms. Yes. Ex Choose the destination in which you wanna extract these two with these with this dot dot bat, but they don't know it's dot bat. So desktop, okay. It's because I've already got them desktop, but yes, to complete. Simplify.